guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a palette collection slash declutter. Um, I was actually requested to do this and then a couple of other people said, yes, do that. Um, I need to um, clear out my palette collection because there's some I just don't use and I'm thinking I'm gonna get rid of. So what I thought I would do in my makeup collection, I literally just showed you my palette drawer and it is overflowing and horrendous and messy and ugh, I just shut it and ignore the fact that it's horrific. But I need to sort through it, so I thought I would do a decluttering video and, well I thought I would declutter them and film it for you. So you could see my palette collection and which ones I'm going to keep and which ones I'm going to be brutal and get rid of or sell, I'm not sure yet. Um, so if you want to see my collection then just keep on watching. Okay, so this here is my palette drawer. I'm going to see if I can sort of get you the best angle possible whilst the drawer is open. I feel like this is the best way <clears throat> I feel like this is the best way to film it. So this is my palette drawer. It's a complete mess. Um, I'm going to take out each palette one at a time and go through what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to get rid of. Okay, so I'm just going to literally go with what's on the top first. So the first palette is a Modern Renaissance palette, grubby as hell, but I use this a lot. I'm absolutely definitely keeping this. There's no way I would get rid of it. <clears throat> New tube by the Balm. Um, I haven't used this that much recently, but actually I really, really do like it. And some of the colours like these I think are really um, quite unique. So I'm going to keep this one because I think I probably will use it. I just forgot I had it. <clears throat> Ultra, Plo 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 Plo? Ultra Pro Glow by Make It Revolution I'm keeping because, again, I forgot I actually had this. It was still in the box. And having dipped into some of the um, highlight shades, they're really pretty. So I'm going to keep this one. Cargo, uh, what's this one? Shanghai Nights palette. I think I might get rid of this one. I've dipped into a few of the shades. Um, this shade ginger is really pretty. Oh, I do like that one. But I feel like there are other shades like it. It's, it you can see it's like hardly used. This has been touched, but I barely use it. So I think I might get rid of that one. Makeup Revolution uh, highlights. No contour. Iconic Lights and Contour Pro. This is one of the original ones from Makeup Revolution. And actually this is a really good palette. So I'm going to put this to one side because I feel like I've got a lot of Makeup Revolution contour palettes. So I'm going to put it to one side and then decide which ones to keep and which ones to get rid of. Uh, my MAC palette, one of my MAC palettes. This is staying because I really like some of these shades. To be honest, this should really be in my kit. It looks really grubby and stuff, but... Um, I use these shades in my kit quite a lot, so this can stay. Makeup Revolution Iconic 3, I'm keeping this because I do like the shades in it. I'm not a massive pink person, um, but it's nice to have the option, so I'm going to keep this one. And to be honest, I don't think I've even really used it yet. Uh, same with this one, barely even touched it, so definitely going to keep it and try and dip into it a bit more. Next we have the ABH Master Palette, um, this is staying, even though I haven't used it that much, obviously I'm not going to get rid of that. <clears throat> Tarte in Bloom, probably one of my favourite palettes ever, it literally rivals the Modern Renaissance palette, that's obviously going to stay. Look how beautiful it is. <clears throat> the Girls with Attitude Palette, I probably am going to get rid of this, I don't really ever reach for it, it's... Got some nice shades and it's nice and neutral, but I just, I'm never going to really use it. <clears throat> Urban Decay Naked Palette. Controversial, but I'm going to get rid of it. Um, you can see I barely have touched it. I just don't really, really reach for it. Really, really reach for it. And the same with the Naked 2. I just don't reach for it. It's just not, um, it's just, they're just not palettes that I really ever go for. So they're both going to go. <clears throat> By the way, I will probably either donate them if they're new, sell them on Depop if they're good condition, or give them away. A uh, MAC palette with a broken shadow in. Superb. I'm going to sell this. I'm going to get rid of this because I just don't, they're not colours I use, they're all a bit too cool tone for me, so I'm going to get rid of that one. Um, a sleek palette, what's this? Oh, I love this palette. I forgot I owned this. This is the um, Blush by 3 Lace palette. This one, oh my god, is amazing. So that is definitely staying. <clears throat> Another sleek palette. Which one's this? This is the Precious Metals Highlighting Palette. 
Again, really like this palette. I haven't used it for ages, kind of forgot I owned it. They're all cream highlights. This is quite old, I don't even know if Sleep make this anymore, but this one is gonna stay. Flushed palette. Um, it, oh my God, this is completely broken. This is going in the bin because it's mangled and I've just dropped it everywhere. I love my brows palette from Makeup Revolution. I haven't touched this yet, but actually some of these shades are quite nice and you get some little mini tweezers. Do I wanna keep this? I might sell this. I might get rid of this one because I don't think I'm gonna use that. I've got a lot of neutral palettes. The Freedom Pro Strobe palette. I did use this quite a lot actually. You can see I've used this shade a lot. This highlight shade is beautiful as well. I'm gonna keep this one because there's some nice contouring shades in here. Makeup Revolution Fortune Favors the Brave palette. I will probably keep this just because I feel like there's some quite unique baked shadows in this one and I kind of like to support um, bloggers and vloggers and stuff like that. And yeah, there are some really unique shades, so this one's gonna stay. Got two of the sleek um, eyeshadow palettes. I really like these. I think these are underrated, so these are probably both gonna stay. That's got quite a few different shades in it. And this one I think is Brights. Yeah, that's gonna stay because that's got some really unique shades in as well. Makeup Revolution Naked palette, staying. I really like this palette. Really like it. For a drugstore neutral palette, this is a very good one. To be honest, all these Makeup Revolution chocolate bar palettes are gonna stay. I don't need to really look at them. I really like them and I do use them. The only one I don't use, which I probably will get rid of, is the pink one. The Makeup Revolution Pink Fizz palette. <clears throat> Just because looking at it, it's just not shades I ever go for. I find them almost like a bit childish. So this one's gonna go. And this Makeup Revolution palette, which is, I don't even know what's in here. Oh, this is Brights as well. This one can stay because this has got some really unique bright shimmers in it. Then I've got the Makeup Revolution, uh, this is their Corrector Concealer. So this one can stay as well because I do quite like the uh, green concealer and also the salmon -y ones for under the eyes. I have three Makeup Revolution blush palettes. I don't know why I have three. I feel like, I think this one's cream. That's a cream one. That's a powder one and that's a powder one with highlighters in. So to be honest, I'm gonna keep all of them because I don't use that many blushes so it's quite nice to have palettes because then you have a bit of a variety. The I'm Naked palette from Makeup Revolution, this is gonna go because I just never ever pick this one up. Smashbox Full Exposure. I used to love this palette. I really like the shades in it. Mm. I don't really ever reach for this anymore. I always go for my Tartlet one, so I think this one can go. Freedom Pro Highlight, I rekindled my love for this recently. I can't even bloody, the Freedom ones are so hard to open. These shades are so nice, so this is definitely staying. These two powder shades are insane. A uh, little Clinique quad. I never use this, I don't even know why I own it, so that can go. Naked Basics palette, again, I don't ever reach for this. I think this one can probably go as well because I just not, um, I just don't use it ever, ever. Make It Revolution Contour Palette, this can stay. Really like this product. It's really easy for traveling and a great drugstore option. Make It Revolution Blush Palette. Didn't know I owned this. I feel like this one can stay as well. Like I said, I don't have that many blushes, so you can stay. Contour Palette. I really like this. Again, I'll sit it with the other one and decide at the end probably which ones I'm gonna keep. Lid Stuff by Soap and Glory. I used to love this one. The, this shade, oh, I'm keeping it for this one because I just love that taupey shade so much. I've got another Smashbox palette at the back here, which is pretty random. I do love this one, but I think it's gonna go because I just never reach for it. Then I have a Makeup Revolution Ultra Eyeshadows palette. I have this one, which is a nude one. And I have this, ow, 
This is the Flawless Matte 2. I think I might get rid of one of these. And looking at them, I'm going to get rid of this one because this is kind of not got any really unique shades in, whereas this I feel like has got a few more that I would use. The Too Faced Bonjour Soleil palette. I don't use this, but I'm keeping it because I love it. I love it. I will use it, I just forgot that I had it, to be honest, and this Chocolate Soleil bronzer is life, so I'm gonna keep it. The other Make It Revolution chocolate bar, this is the one that's the dupe of the Too Faced one. I'm keeping this, it's smashed up anyway, so he can stay. Uh, Iconic Pro from Make It Revolution. This is a dupe of the Lorac Pro. This can stay because I just really like this row of shimmers on the bottom. And this shade I live for, so. And we don't have many left now. Uh, Makeup Revolution, another blush palette. This I never ever reach for. Um, yeah, this can go. I don't really, don't really rate that. To be fair, it's not something I'm going to use. The Kim Kardashian Chrome Angel palette. This can go. I never ever 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 use this. Um, I will say the highlight shade in it is is really bomb, but I just don't use this ever. So this one can go. Tanya Burr palette. This can stay. I really like this for travelling. I forgot I had it, to be honest, but this highlight shade is bomb. And lastly, I have two Zoeva palettes. This is the Cool Spectrum and Warm Spectrum palettes. These are both staying because, again, I love these. The Cool Spectrum palette, I find, is really unique. And the Warm Spectrum palette is, is great for just... I don't know. I just love it. They're really good quality eyeshadows, so they are both staying. So that is it guys, and these are all the palettes I managed to get rid of. I know it's not tons, but I've done quite well because I'm I'm such a hoarder when it comes to makeup. I'm gonna probably put some of these on Depop, the ones that are worth selling anyway, so do check out my Depop, I'll pop it down below. Any requests, as always, pop them in the comments, and I'll try and get them done for you, but until next time, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.